So for question number nine, we have a voltage V of T equals 230 sine 3140 is applied to a series circuit and the resulting current is I of T which is 10 sine 3140 minus 30 degrees and then we have to find A the resistance of the circuit and then B the reactance of the circuit and then C the power drawn by the circuit. Now notice that this circuit is an AC circuit and then we also have the current that is the instantaneous current I of T lagging the voltage by 30 degrees. Now this circuit is an RL circuit because in an RL circuit we have the current lagging the voltage by an angle that is between 0 and 90 degrees. So because we have the instantaneous current lagging the voltage by 30 degrees then we have an RL circuit that is an RL series circuit. Now what this actually means is that for this circuit we have the resistance and then we have the inductive reactance. So the impedance of this circuit is made up of the resistance and the inductive reactance. So that is what we are going to find in A and B. Now according to Ohm's law V is equal to I times Z so that we have Z is equal to V over I. Now from the question, the instantaneous voltage is equal to 230 sine 3140 and then we have the instantaneous current to be 10 sine 314T minus 30 degrees. Now the instantaneous voltage or current is given by the expression. Let's say we have A of T equals AM sine omega T plus phi. So if you want to convert this to the polar form, then you have AM angle, the phase angle. So that is what we are going to do for V of T and I of T. So for V of T, it's basically V equals 230 angle 0 degrees. And then for I of T, we have I equals 10 angle negative 30 degrees. So now the impedance of the circuit which is equal to V over I is equal to 230 angle 0 degrees over 10 angle negative 30. Now to find the impedance we are going to divide 230 by 10. Now 230 by 10 is 23 and then for the angle because we are dividing we are going to subtract. So we have 0 minus negative 30 which is equal to 30. So that's going to be 23 angle 30 degrees. So this is the impedance of the circuit. So now let's convert z from the polar form to the rectangular form that is the form a plus or minus jb so basically it's going to be 23 cosine the angle plus j23 sine the angle that is the face angle so we have z equals 23 cos 30 is equal to 19.92 and then 23 sine 30 equals 11.50 so this is the rectangular form of the impedance now because we have an RL 
series circuit the impedance is given by R plus XL R plus JXL so let's compare the two equations so comparing the two equations we have R which is the resistance equals 19.92 ohms and then we have the inductive reactance equals 11.50 ohms so this is the answer for E and this is the answer for B so now let's find C the power drawn by the circuit now for an RL circuit the power drawn by the circuit is giving us VI cos phi now V and I or the values of V and I are the RMS values of the voltage and the current respectively so the RMS value for the voltage is giving us the peak value that is 230 divided by the square root of 2 times the peak value which is 10 divided by the square root of 2 times the cosine of the phase angle between the voltage and the current which is 30 degrees now 230 over root 2 times 10 over root 2 times the cosine of 30 is equal to 995.93 watts which is equal to 996 watts 